More than 95 million Americans are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but there are still many more remaining on the fence and not vaccinated yet. And, and here's the thing, vaccine hesitancy, it's not really anything that's new. It's something Americans have seen many, many times before and continue to see. But on this Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain uh, an example that's worth remembering. Decades ago, polio was one of the most feared diseases in the United States. The development of a polio vaccine was widely celebrated, but one early batch of the vaccine was manufactured incorrectly, leading to some cases of paralysis and death. And when the vaccination program resumed, many were hesitant to get the shot, especially teenagers. Health officials needed help, and they found it in a rising star. The pictures show a young Elvis Presley, just 21 years old, smiling widely as he was vaccinated for polio. In October of 1956, Elvis got the polio vaccine backstage just before his performance on The Ed Sullivan Show. The target audience, teenagers and young adults who thought they weren't at risk for the deadly disease. Now the pictures of Elvis getting his vaccine were seen in newspapers around the country the next day. And the percentage of teenagers that actually got the polio vaccination after this promotion went from 0.6% to almost 80% in six months. That wasn't all because of Elvis, but his impact was significant enough to be dubbed the Elvis Effect. The rising rock star was heavily involved with the March of Dimes, so he reportedly didn't think twice about getting the polio vaccine. Is there a celebrity who could have the same impact now? Plenty of stars have been vaccinated. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. I'm begging of you, please don't hesitate. Dolly Parton drew widespread praise for not only helping fund the Moderna vaccine, but also getting it publicly. This vaccine means hope. It will protect you and those you love from this dangerous and deadly disease. All of the living former presidents and their spouses have been vaccinated. So has the Pope, the Dalai Lama, and the Queen, and a long list of celebrities, including Tyler Perry, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Nick Jonas, and Ryan Reynolds. But health experts aren't expecting an Elvis effect this time around. They think hesitant people are far more likely to get vaccinated if they hear the message from their own doctor, their pastor, or another trusted member of their community. We may not have the king of rock and roll to rely on, but we can each do our own part to spread the word. Now, experts believe there are big stars like Beyonce or LeBron James who could still have an impact on vaccination rates, especially with young people. Now, it's worth noting, at a recent Olympic press event, all of the U.S. Olympians present said they'd already been vaccinated or planned to get vaccinated soon.